Hey everybody, it is JG, and I am back with another tutorial video. I heard the argument of the TeamSpeak versus Discord, so I thought I'd make a TeamSpeak video since I personally host a TeamSpeak 3 server, and I'm going to show you guys how to host your own TeamSpeak 3 server on your PC. As you can see down here, I do not get any sleep, so let's start this tutorial. First, you're going to want to navigate to the TeamSpeak website. Then you're going to want to go to TeamSpeak. You're going to see TeamSpeak 3 server. Click on that. You can choose server 32 bit or 64. Download. I'm going to put it on in my TeamSpeak folder on the desktop. It's going to be a zipped folder anyway. It's going to download. We can minimize this and we'll come to back to that later. Go ahead and open up where you saved it and you can now extract all of the contents. And now that we have that, we can go ahead and open up this, and this is going to be the server file. So you can just go ahead and move that wherever you want it, and this is going to be the server file with all of the information. So here you have TeamSpeak 3 server. It's an application. You can just go ahead and double click this and run it once. And it's going to probably ask you, Windows Firewall, you're going to want to check whichever one that applies to you and allow access. This is the only time you will be seeing this, so you will want to either screenshot this or create a new text document and copy and paste all of this information into it. So I'm just going to create a Word document here. Open up your TeamSpeak. It is going to be server admin. And you're not going to want to show anybody this. This key will be especially important for the first time you log on to your TeamSpeak server. So once you've got all of that, you can go ahead and save this and close that out. And you can just click close here. And now your TeamSpeak 3 server is running. You might be like, hey, where is it? And when I first did this, I was really confused on if it was running or not. But down here, show hidden icons and you've got your TeamSpeak 3 server right there running. So you're going to want to go ahead and exit that close this and now comes the interesting part which is going to depend a lot on you and your router and internet settings first you're going to want to google this or just look in the description because i'm going to have it down here for the ports teamspeak 3 servers use the default voice port the file transfer port if you want that enabled and the server and these are also two other things that i don't really mess with but these are the three main ones that you're going to work with. So in my router, I took a photo of how it looks. So I have TeamSpeak 1, 2, and 3. These are not the versions. These are just my ports. These are the firewall exceptions. So here we have the voice port, UDP, and then that's the IP, the internal IP of the computer I am hosting it on. To find your internal IP, you're going to go CMD, and then IP config and then you'll see right here under Ethernet adapter it is 10 11 0, 4. this is a, not a static IP you're going to want to set a static IP this is not the computer I'm hosting on so whatever static IP address you set that's where you're going to want to make the exceptions and forward them to that and here it's listed twice because this is internal and external ports and you want to make sure those are both the same so once you have that done in your router, you will be able to open up here, open up your TeamSpeak 3 server, and now that you have confirmed that is running down here, you can open up your TeamSpeak 3 client, connections connect, I'm going to use my internal IP address since I have not forwarded it yet. I'm going to connect, and now it is going to prompt you to use your privilege key that you wrote down, hopefully, in the Word document or the screenshot. So you're just going to want to copy that and paste it in here. And this will give you all admin capabilities here. So you can go in here, edit the virtual server. You can change this to anything you want. You can add a password and you can change the amount of clients. However, you cannot go over 32 because you do not have a license. So you're going to be like, oh, let's go up to 35. It will say error and you cannot do it. So keep it at 32 clients unless you get a 
license, a pro nonprofit license or something from TeamSpeak, you can go ahead and email them for their sales or support and ask about that. But without a license, you can have up to 32 people. So for small friend groups, for gaming groups, I really like this because it's really simple. You don't have the the Discord stuff. If you don't like Discord, this is a really good option. I personally prefer this. You can do any options here. Uh, for the best, I usually put it on for music and quality 10. You've got all of the different commands, permissions, all of that stuff if you want to get deeper into TeamSpeak. And for any of you looking for just a TeamSpeak server to use, you might not want to host your own. Optimum Vision Gaming is always free and open for the public to use. We have the personal channels that you don't want to go to unless you know the person. Uh, but we have Grand Theft Auto, Minecraft, all of these games here. So you can just hop in here anytime, talk to your friends, and just make sure to follow all of the rules. No profanity. Don't spam. So if you don't want to host your own, you can always come to our public. This server, I do have a license for it, so I can have up to 128 clients. So that's it guys for this tutorial video if you have any questions make sure to comment down below or shout me out on twitter hope you have a good day see you guys later